This is Thailand. We are going to go to over 40 places in Thailand as we travel to Bangkok, Kanchanaburi, Ayutthaya, Sukhothai, Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai, and so many places in between. The beauty of travel and why I'm so excited for us to experience Thailand together is the opportunity to see, do, and taste the brand new things we will run into. Thailand will surprise us around every corner, unlock our curiosity, and teach us something from each unique location location we visit. This is by far the most effort I've put into a video on the channel. An enormous amount of effort was put into researching, filming, and editing the Thailand experience you're watching right now. Let's begin this insane trip in Bangkok where my heart was filled meeting with my mom, my sister, Tito Mon, and Titi Itong after a long year of being across the world from each other. This is so weird! So much. <laughs> I like your hat. Where do you get your hat? At Masum. Okay. Oh my god, I haven't oh. seen you in one year! One year, yeah. How are you? I couldn't believe how abundant the street food was in Bangkok. They've taken street food to the next level. Our first major stop was Icon Siam, an indoor air-conditioned market where you will find delicious food from 77 provinces across Thailand. The intoxicating smells and unique sights are elevated by the comfort of being indoors. Icon Siam is incredible. Wow! There's a strawberry inside this and a strawberry inside that. Mm -hmm. Cheers! Oh. Mm. Whoa. It's like all the best things at once. The strawberry is kind of cold. Wat Po is known as the temple of the reclining Buddha. I was shook when I saw how enormous the reclining Buddha was in person. One of my favorite TV shows of all time is Attack on Titan. This was just like seeing a titan in real life. It is the largest Buddha in all of Thailand. The feet of the reclining Buddha have been adorned with beautiful Buddhist illustrations. This is something you can't miss when you visit Bangkok. On the extensive grounds, you will find gorgeous Buddha statues. A Thai family can be granted permission to to leave the remains of their loved ones under these Buddha statues. The family can leave gifts of food and incense under the Buddha, pray to their ancestors, and even change the costume of the Buddha if they wish. We're leaving the biggest palace in Bangkok. I thought it was pretty awesome. The big Buddhas were very shocking to see. Bangkok's flower market, Pakong Talad, is one of the world's largest flower markets. It is open 24 seven. So we're entering the Grand Palace. Oh yeah. It looks like an airport terminal. The Royal Grand Palace in Bangkok is located in the heart of the city. It is still used today for official royal ceremonies. I was awestruck just walking on the grounds. I couldn't help but constantly look up at the incredible architecture, insanely detailed statues, and the abundance of rich colors painting the royal grounds. The history of the Grand Palace stretches back to the late 1700s, which is unbelievable considering how well it has maintained its beauty. The Grand Palace is the spiritual heart of the kingdom of Thailand. We just exited the Grand Palace. We We're going to go to the canal tour. We're gonna to see more of Bangkok from a different angle. The Chao Phraya River flows from the fertile farmland of central Thailand through Bangkok and into the Gulf of Thailand. You can expect to see cruise ship-like restaurant ships zoom by, monitor lizards, and catfish if you toss some bread into the water. Seeing Bangkok from the perspective of the Chao Phraya River was eye-opening. Can you enjoy the beauty of Bangkok's Chao Phraya River during sunset while eating a delicious Thai dinner? Yes, you can. Mm. <laughs> I hope I don't see this in a few hours. This is pork, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> That's my first, guys. The Royal Princess the Royal Cruise. Princess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're all like really good though. Let's see. As the sun set, the ships passing by could show off their vibrant colors. After enjoying dinner, we took an electric tricycle back home. We drove through Bangkok's Chinatown, and I can't express how incredible it is to drive through this area at nighttime. It's like a mini New York Times Square. It's time to leave Bangkok and go to Kanchanaburi. In Thailand, coconuts are abundant, and visiting a coconut sugar farm is the best way to see, smell, and taste Thai coconut 
coconuts and their potential products. Oh, just stay away from mm, the plant. That's good. If I could take the coconut molasses home, it would be absolutely perfect as an ice cream topping. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Visiting the coconut sugar farm gave me a greater appreciation for the process of creating coconut products. The Venice of the East, that's what early European visitors called parts of Thailand. I haven't been to Venice, but speeding through the canals on the way to the floating market is the closest I've been. I loved seeing Thai houses and communities along the water. I imagined what it would be like to live in a house along one of these canals. We have just arrived at the floating market, an hour away from Bangkok. They sell things off of the water. Water here. First time I've experienced something like this. Thai floating water markets have been like this for over 100 years. I could feel my appreciation for Thai culture deepening with each incredible place we visited. I also feel that this is a good time to thank Aryan, my sister, for helping me film this video. Thailand wouldn't have been as much fun without her. This is the River Kwai in Kanchanaburi, which touches historical World War II sites such as Hellfire Pass and Death Railway. We will be staying on the River Kwai to Tonight. So we made it to the resort and we took a boat to get here, which was crazy. Hi. We're gonna go to the hotel room now. We're in room 512. Oh, our way to home! I'm so scared of the bugs. <laughs> This is my new CV. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is our room. A bed here, a bed there, and then Aryan's bed is by the window. Huzzah! <laughs> oh, oh snoppity. <gasps> what? It's for Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Aryan, we can hold and shower everything. Two people can do that separately. I know! No poop in the shower. <laughs> no poop in the shower. Uh, I called it. <laughs> that night, we celebrated a Thai floating lamp ceremony. Whoa, she lit it! She lit it. This ceremony is called Lai Gatong. It is a Thai festival celebrated every year on the evening of the full moon of the 12th month of the Thai lunar calendar. Before you float your lamp, you have to make a wish and pray. My wish encapsulated my family, my dreams, my friends, and the health, strength, and endurance to be able to change as many lives as I possibly can through this YouTube channel. I prayed for peace in the world, for the sick and dying, and for those who can't find the light in their life to be able to find light and purpose. Hellfire Pass is the name of a railway cutting on the Death Railway in World War II. This is the size of a rice ration versus the size of the amount of rock forced laborers were required to move each working day. Hunger was ever present. Death was horrifyingly everywhere. It is called Hellfire Pass because the sight of the starved, bony, skeletal-like laborers under burning torchlight can only be described as hell on earth by those who were alive to witness Hellfire Pass's creation. As you walk through Hellfire Pass, you can feel the sadness and pain, but it's important to remember and learn from the past. Guys, we just entered a train. The next thing is going to be feeding and washing the elephants here. This train still runs on the section of the Death Railway that is still used today. The most notable section we saw was the Wang Po Viaduct. This section of wooden beams was constructed in 17 days by Allied prisoners of war. We just changed into our garbs. Hello. When I came to Thailand, one of the things I was looking forward to most was getting to see elephants up close. Aryan and I prepped the watermelon and banana rice balls to feed these gentle giants. In Thai culture, elephants are the guardians of Buddha, the earth, and its temples. According to legend, the Buddhist and Hindu god Indra had a flying white elephant called Erawan. It was said that Erawan would carry Indra from heaven to earth in order to bring fortune and battle demons to protect Earth. The physical strength of elephants represents mental strength and responsibility. In Thailand, elephants are a symbol of power and status. Having this memory with the elephants and being able to share it with you is such a privilege. While bathing the elephants, I noticed how coarse and thick their skin is. This was the biggest animal I've ever touched in my life. I was jealous of their trunks and how much they can do with them. Elephants are incredible. People say that elephants are afraid 
of mice and rats. Are you afraid of them? Freshly grilled, ready to eat rice field rats can be found along highways in Thailand. The price per kilo costs less than chicken. They feed on fruits, vegetables, rice, nuts, snails, and insects. But today, I will be feeding on the rice field rat. All right guys, so on the side of the road, we found some rat. <laughs> Aryan so like... handled the rat and she didn't know his rat. <laughs> okay, give me oh, it. They call it the long-tailed chicken. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well? It tastes like uh, a beef rib. Is it just tough to go through? Yeah, just kind of bony. Wat Chai Watanaram Temple in Ayutthaya, Thailand was built in 1630 by King Prasat Thong to honor his mother. This temple symbolizes Mount Sumeru, the god's mountain according to Hindu belief. Wat Chai Watanaram directly translated means the temple of long reign and glorious era. This temple is truly gorgeous and distinctly different from the temples we saw in Bangkok. When walking the grounds surrounding the temple, you can feel the time, people, and changes this place has witnessed over the centuries. In Ayutthaya, you can also visit Wat Mahal Hot, hot, which shares the same beautiful architecture. It's time to visit the school children of Ratabamrong Elementary School. This experience woke up my memories of raising the flag at my own elementary school, playing the drums, and being half awake during morning roll call. The children played a beautiful Thai song for us using instruments such as the circular Kong Wong Lek, the gong, and the xylophone like Ranat Dum and Ranat Ek. Seeing the past of Thailand through the places that we visited and seeing the future of Thailand through these kids gave me a perspective of Thailand that I look back on with happiness. I hope you've been enjoying the journey with me so far and have been loving this Thailand experience as much as I have. I saw myself in these kids at Rat Bamrung Elementary School and it was so rewarding to see the smiles on their faces. I see this channel as a place where we can share happy memories, experience new things, and reflect on what matters most in life. It means so much to me that you're here and connecting with us. What are you name? Andre. Andre. Good playing. <laughs> See you. It's time to say bye to Ayutthaya and hello to the monkeys we met on the way to Sukhothai. The most common monkey you'll find in Thailand is the macaque. I didn't expect to interact with as much wildlife as I did in Thailand, but it was such a cool experience observing and feeding these monkeys. The macaque can be quite aggressive, so make sure to keep your distance and never ever feed them by hand. It was so interesting to see the baby macaques clutching onto their mothers. Growing up, I would always admire the photos in National Geographic magazines, but seeing the photos come to life is such a pleasure to witness. Sukhothai is known to be the birthplace of Thailand. Sukhothai is famous for being the home of over 100 historical sites, including ancient Buddha statues, monuments, temples, and palaces. Our time here is short, but the immersive experiences I had here will stay with me forever. Hi. Hi! Welcome to the room! <laughs> Come on in. We have that hallway with the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to be here! <laughs> <laughs> oh it's authentic, it's authentic. <laughs> And here's the bed. Oh, it's a big bed. my Andre, bed. Benedict. <laughs> it's right next to the pool. Yeah, I got a view of the pool. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> First thing you see is this tub right in the middle. And you got the entire view of the bathroom here. That's it. We were able to find durian. All right, when was the last time you ate durian? Five years ago? You don't remember what it tastes like? I remember what it smells like. And I do remember the texture. If you've never had durian, the perfect durian for me is a firm but soft exterior and a creamy interior. It's my mom's favorite fruit. The Thai golden pillow durian was so good. <laughs> Ready, set, go. 
Mm. It's soft. I can see why it's acquired, but I like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm focusing. This is so good. There it is. Mm. It's different from the Philippines one. It has a little bit of a different taste. That's to be expected because it's probably a different variety. We're gonna enjoy this. Oh, yeah. This is the Indigo leaf for dyeing clothes. Sawadika. Sawadika. The art of dyeing clothing with the indigo plant has been part of Southeastern Asian culture for centuries. We were lucky enough to witness the process and custom stamp our own fabric with wax. Are you in shop here already? He's already wearing the merch. I'm a daily customer. I was never good at any art growing up, but creating YouTube videos fills that hole in my life. Mealworm. <laughs> it's like a Cheeto. Cheeto, but it's a worm. This one is a cricket. Look at the little leg. There you go. It's like a bigger Cheeto. It's like <laughs> They're good. From Sukhothai, we travel to Chiang Rai. We are at the Chui Fong Tea Plantation. The view is just incredible here. We're going to be taking some time here to try the tea and also take in these amazing views from the tea cafe that they have here. The panoramic views of the rolling hills and distant mountains surrounding Chui Fong are absolutely worth the trip when visiting Chiang Rai. In my personal life, I especially enjoy chamomile tea at dinner to mentally wind down for the night. Cheers! It's hot. hot. It's really hot. <laughs> Driving into Chiang Rai, we saw the mountains where the 13 Lives Junior Soccer Team Rescue took place. We have arrived in the northernmost part of Thailand. This is the border between Thailand and Burma. We're not going to cross the border to Burma because at any time the Burma government could close the border and we don't want to get stuck there. From this vantage point, Burma is just in sight. Notice the flags changing from Thai to Burmese on the bridge. You can choose to see Burma from a higher angle by climbing stairs to an overlook right next to the Purple Temple. So on this side in front of me is Thailand, but what you're seeing behind me is mostly Burma. This purple temple overlooking Burma was my favorite of the trip. I've never seen purple used in such intricate and beautiful ways in my life. This is a must-see when visiting the Chiang Rai area. We are at the Golden Triangle. This is Thailand, this is Burma, and then this is Laos. The Golden Triangle Burma, Laos, and Thailand can be seen from the Mekong River or an overlook. You have to climb more stairs to get to the overlook and all the stairs were catching up to Aryan. I'm gonna die! Come on! Hup, hup! Hup, hup! Hup, hup! Hup! Oh, I'm trying to... <laughs> He's going crazy! He's going insane! Why are we doing this? I hope you've been enjoying the video, guys. Have a good day. Don't want to climb too many stairs. <laughs> I had no idea you could see three different countries when in Thailand. Surprises are the best. That's Laos. Over here is Myanmar. This is Thailand. The Mekong River is where we went earlier. The next place we visited was an educational experience. We have arrived at the place where the Long Neck Karen Hill tribe lives. So when they put the ring on, the ring going to place the shoulder down. Oh, Probably at least 10 pounds. Holy. On your neck? Oh my God. It's, it's heavy. heavy. Yeah. It's really heavy. It looks like a Karen. Wow, like a Karen. The people of the Long Neck Karen Hill tribe fled Burma into Thailand due to ethnic and political conflicts. Now Karen villages like this can be found across the countryside of northern Thailand. My first thought was how beautiful the people of this tribe are, from the children to the elderly. The children of the Long Neck Karen Hill tribe performed the elephant song for us. I want to give a special thank you to them because as I was walking through the village, they specifically wanted to wait for me to perform so that I could film them for this YouTube video. So thank you to all of you. I put in a ton of effort to make this video special. After leaving the hill tribe, we headed to Chiang Mai, where we visited a gem cutting factory and then the Thai Silk Learning Center. The life cycle of the Thai silkworm starts when the silk moth lays its eggs. The eggs hatch into tiny silkworms that feed on fresh mulberry leaves until their body weight is 10,000 
times their hatching weight. The mature silkworm will then spin its cocoon around itself for three days. Seeing the entire silkworm life cycle in minutes was fascinating. Yellow cocoons are Thai silkworms while the white are Chinese. It's at this point where the silk is extracted from the cocoon, collected, then weaved into beautiful silk fabrics and clothing of all kinds. There are many different types of silk produced around the world. It's interesting to know that the best quality silk is the mulberry silk that you're seeing right now. Sharing the entire process from silk moth to a beautiful dress is a journey I was so excited to share with you. That night, we enjoyed even more street food in Chiang Mai, including this innovative ice cream burrito with taro and coconut ice cream. If Chiang Mai isn't in your travel plans, you can visit Wat Rong Kun in Chiang Rai, also known as the most insane temple I've ever seen. Wat Rong Kun is better known around the world as the White Temple. If you look closely at it during this visit, you can see how the porcelain exterior glitters and sparkles in the sunlight. The outreaching hands at our feet symbolize unrestrained desire. The bridge you cross to reach the temple represents happiness by controlling our greed and temptations. We're going through the White Temple and it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. It starts in hell and then the bridge symbolizes earth and then goes Going to the temple symbolizes heaven. This is a place you can't miss when visiting Thailand. The White Temple is the most insane temple I've ever seen, but I can't pick a favorite place out of all the places we visited. Thailand is overflowing with rich experiences, mouthwatering tastes, and memories you will look back on happily forever. There's another bell. Making sure. Please refrain from ringing the bells. Before we left, we found this unique wishing well. I wish I could have an authentic Thai home experience. My name is Cha. This is a home, not a restaurant. No fancy food, but very delicious. You are all part of our family tonight. Ja cooked authentic Thai green curry right in front of us just as he would for his own family. It was at this point where Thailand felt like a second home. So this is our Thai home. You're on the second floor. This is my older brother bedroom. That's the most important room of the house. The Buddha's room. Come on in everybody. This belongs to my grandpa. He used to hold on to this so this means wow. a lot to me. It's a knife. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> This is a very famous monk in Chiang Mai. I don't know if you met him along the way. This is me. As a Thai man, 20 to 25 years old, consider the best time to become a monk at least once in your life to say thank you to your parents for giving you birth into this world. Shave my head, my eyebrow, and become a monk. For how long? 12 days. <laughs> In the mountains overlooking Chiang Mai, you can visit Doi Sutep Temple. This sacred site sits atop Doi Sutep Mountain at an elevation of 3,520 feet or 1,073 meters. The origin of Doi Sutep is still unknown and to this day still remains a mysterious legend. When you visit Thailand, you can expect an abundance of beauty that is truly unique and awe-inspiring. Alright guys, we have arrived at the King Kong Smile Zipline. This course features the longest and tallest zipline in Asia. Wish me luck. I don't know what I signed for, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was scary! What is this? What is that? Oh my god, what is this? What oh is my this? gosh! No! Andre, you're the death of me. Oh my gosh. How are we gonna do oh, that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, Sit down. Wow, Holy! <laughs> that was insane. Okay, ready? No. Oh, oh, it's really chill. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Where do I hold yeah. here? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Where? Ah! It's really chill. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. like a soldier <laughs> holding holding their helmet <laughs> I'm forever changed <laughs> Why is it 
screaming! Oh my god! <laughs> Why you have to pee? <laughs> Why? My ear is poking! She just hit me! Why did you hit me? You have to feel the fear and do it do anyway. Do it anyway. <laughs> Thank you. My ear is bugging. You saved mine. You saved my ear. Don't push me. Sit down. You were going. One, two, three. Hi, mom. <laughs> All of us are going to die one day. Often my thoughts surround this fact. In my everyday life, I can't help but think about my life from beginning to end. I think about how much time I actually have left. I think about what truly matters in our limited time here. It's always my family. It's always the love that we share. I put so much love into these videos to ensure that you also feel like you are a part of our family. I want to thank my mom for having the courage to come with Aryan and I to this zipline experience. One day she won't be able to do something like this anymore. One day Aryan and I won't be able to do something like this anymore. I want to enjoy places like Thailand and like this with my love the ones before time runs out. Do as much as you can with the life that you're given. Make sure you don't have any regrets. Thank you so much for coming to Thailand with us and staying with us until the very end.